We both uh, research the history of finance and really we look at medieval Europe to look for um, examples and uh, evidence to explain finance and link it to things that are happening today. For instance, uh, the recent scandal over the rates of interest charged by payday lending companies such as Wonga uh, resulted in their chief executive being grilled before a Treasury Select Committee. Uh, back in the Middle Ages, he may have ended up being grilled in the seventh circle of hell. Yeah, I'm looking at this, this photo here uh, that we use to demonstrate financial regulation in the Middle Ages because we're talking about usury and what happened to usurers as they ended up, as Tony said, in hell. And we've got this version of Dante's Inferno and it's not the film by Dan Brown, it's the original text. And there's an illustration that shows Dante in the seventh circle of hell talking to the free sinners and these sinners are from his hometown of Florence. And he maybe he recognises them, maybe he owed them some money. Um, and there he puts them. Um, and, and what's happened to them is because they're usurers, they've been judged and they've been sent to quite close to the middle of hell and they're burning in hell. Yeah. So that raises the question, uh, if people in the Middle Ages were genuinely religious and believed in these punishments that awaited those who contravened uh, rules such as usury, uh, but at the same time, no merchant would be prepared to lend money to someone else without getting some kind of a return on this. So how did they square that circle? Well, I think what I always think about, and it may be slightly weird, is that they tried to make things really complex. Um, and they did this in a variety of ways. So they could construct a forward contract, uh, and we, we find that for all country of wool. They did very complex foreign exchange transactions taken in two locations and two exchanges. Um, they also did credit finance where they might be rewarded with gifts rather than talking about the loans. And why do they do that? They want to make it so complex that they think that God won't understand it. And that brings us back to more recent events. Uh, Andy Haldane of the Bank of England uh, calculated that the average to understand what actually went into uh, one of the CDOs that detonated in 2007 and 2008, uh, you would have had to read around one million pages of documentation to actually understand uh, the mortgages that went into these uh, subprime assets. And I suppose just to sum up, I mean, the only difference in penalty is that today you might lose your knighthood, but in the Middle Ages you'd end up in hell.